Today's video is going to be about the new book that I made. This book is called The RMS Titanic by Jeremiah. I'm really proud of this book and I hope you guys like it. I added a lot of detail in this front page as you can see and I added funnels in the water and I added it sinking and about to split. This book was made entirely by me. I drew the I drew the illustrations and I wrote the story. These are the markers that I used. They're called chalk markers. I bought them on Amazon. They have like really good colors. I could show you some of them right now. There's many different colors. For my explosions, I use the yeah, the red, the orange, and the yellow and then a bright yellow for like the middle of the explosion. And then to make the Titanic, I would use black and then red at the bottom. Then for shine, I'd use the white color. And then if you want to make water, I would use dark blue and the light blue mixed together and you would have the Titanic. So yeah, chalk markers is what I use. Okay, now it's the time of the video for me to read this book to you. I hope you like it. Once a while ago, there was a ship called the Titanic. It began being built in 1909, March 31st, in Belfast, Ireland. It measured 882 feet long, and she weighed 52,310 tons. The ship had three functionable smokestacks. The last one was for show and it has 16 compartments, but four can be filled with water without sinking. The Titanic's maiden voyage started on April 10th, 1912, and was carrying 3,547 people on board. There was many families and they all liked the ship. They had multiple dining rooms and had different classes, first, second, and third. The first class was the most luxurious out of the, mo out of the three. The Titanic's ride was going well. They planned to go to New York. The Titanic had many problems while traveling, and she had two other sister ships, Britannic and Olympic. They had four funnels slash smokestacks. They were used to discharge smoke from the boiler rooms. The funnel on the very back was not used to discharge anything. It was a ventilation for show. Night on April 14, 1912, the Titanic was sent signals, but the crew would not listen. Up in the crow's nest, they kept a lookout for danger, but it was dark out. It was hard to see, but they saw a figure in the darkness, and it was an iceberg. The people in the crow's nest yelled, Iceberg, right ahead! And the officers answered the call. Then they tried to turn the wheel, but it was too late. The iceberg seemed to get closer to the ships, and the ship scraped the side of the berg. The ship had a whole bunch of water pouring in at a time. The boiler started to flood, and people in the boilers had to evacuate. Captain John Smith let down the watertight doors, but more than four compartments had been flooded, and the ship was going to sink. The officers set up the lifeboats and started loading people on the lifeboats. Capacity was to 40 people, but only 20 came on, and there was only 16 lifeboats, not enough for everybody on board. The ship began listing harder from, and the lights went out, and boom, the ship split in two. The Titanic sank to the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean and the survivors had to wait two hours, hours until the Carpathia came to pick up the survivors of the Titanic and gave them hot beverages and food to eat. And the Titanic was to rest at the bottom of the ocean. It was found by Robert Ballard in 1980-something, I think. The Research Corp Corporation, and they sent a submarine to the wreck. I have a question. Where is the Titanic right now? The Titanic is at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean, slowly 
um, like disappearing because of the algae and stuff eating up on it on the steel plates and the Titanic iron plates. Okay, how come nobody tried to remove it from the ocean? Well, simply they can't remove it because if they were to, it would easily like dissolve. If they were to move it, like the Titanic is so old, it's like picking up a um a like a sand castle will just fall apart because it can't hold itself together because all of the stuff eating up on it and if they try to pick it up it will just fall apart and then it will just be a giant mess underwater interesting did you hear the news about the um submarine that got lost at sea yes i did what uh, mm -hmm. tell me about that please the Titanic submarine, it was it was carrying like rich people to go underwater because they wanted to see the Titanic. But some people think that the Titanic was not meant to be like seen, and some people think that like, the spirits of the people on the Titanic are like, well, the dark story of the Titanic is like haunting the the whole area. So, some people think it's not good to go look at the wreckage. You should just um, leave it alone. Do you, do you agree with that? Yes, I do. You think you'd be left alone? Yes, I do. Okay. And why do you love the Titanic so much? I like the Titanic because it's fascinating. The facts, the looks, and just the whole storyline behind it. I like all the... Um, like all the pictures that were taken and then I just like everything about the Titanic the facts the pictures everything it just looks a be like a beautiful ship but then the story behind it is sad but it is fascinating to search uh, search about well thank you so much for answering my questions I like your book I like your drawings and the illustrations I think you have a very good talent or a natural talent for art and design you love to draw right yes you want you want to tell our viewers a little bit about your um your love for art craft and design yes so it all started when i was younger i started well really when i first started learning about the titanic for a video on youtube then I started just looking up stuff about it. Then I was able to watch the movie. I really liked it. So then I got myself a model and I started drawing. And then I love drawing the Titanic. So then me drawing the Titanic got me into drawing a lot and lots of different stuff. I remember when I was drawing when I was a little kid. And then I love just putting out my art and showing people like my designs I made a one time I made a Lego plane and then I showed it and then and I and then I made a video about a Titanic model that I got when I was eight years old I believe and then I started getting um yeah I started making my own models out of paper and I got like like little model kits and then I'd build them and then I would just be proud of them. I'd have them sitting up somewhere and then every day I'd wake up and I'd go look at it and I'd think, wow, I made this? And I'd be smiling at myself thinking, wow, I'm really good at making stuff. And then that's how my love of art and design first started. Awesome, great job. Thank you.